Good morning, guys. Uh, what's going on? Lucas with Bowser Lawn Care, LLC. Uh, just checking in. We're here at the shop this morning. We are going to uh, mess around, get everything organized in our new shop. We finally got time to do so. We're, we're caught up with everything. We're going to do that and uh, probably clean these mowers up a little bit. So just kind of stay tuned. This is cleaning day. It's been a long week and we're about to have us a long weekend. Me and Jaren are here getting everything ready already for next week so that we can just party hard all weekend and, and uh, come in and get to work. So, pretty nasty. That's what happens when you run in wet places and, and the grass just gets kind of stuck in there. But you got to do this or it's terrible on belts. And belts are not cheap. So we like to control the controllable as much as we can. Like that little tan right there where my watch is. This one's just number one. We still gotta clean the SFC 30. The V ride is bad. And the new 2022 cat is pretty bad too. All right. So, Jaren's getting everything ready here. Uh, cleaning everything up. So, this is this is what we do every week. Uh, they get a full clean in and well, we don't power wash them usually or anything, but the grass all gets cleaned out and then we blow everything out, air filters, uh, the whole nine check belts. Uh, it's a big thing. Make sure you guys are always checking your belts, uh, making sure that, you know, they got any nicks or anything in them and, uh, making sure that all the grass is clear around them. It's a big deal. So these things are not cheap to run every day, especially when you're keeping fuel in four or five of them. We actually have one more. Uh, it's over at my parents' house right now, but it's a it's another tiger cat. Um, so yeah, pretty much five. But. Mm. Yeah. Nice trash to my left under there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, there's some nice trash to my left under there. clean jaren did a good job on these they're uh all belts are good ready to rock and roll the only thing we have to do is change blades on monday morning first thing so that won't be too bad and also we've got the shop more organized now boom Two well burrows, two garden carts, two push mowers, our Ballard Sulky right back there. And then we'll put the cats in here. See how much room we got. So uh, just uh, let everybody kind of know and, and so they can, everybody can kind of get to know me on the channel here. Uh, this is what I do on the side. Um, I'm a fourth generation cattle farmer. Uh, as most of you know, my dad passed away. Uh, these 
some of these cows are actually his and my mom's. Uh, and my mom, she's she's a nice lady, and, and she she told me, you know, uh, I want you 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 do what you want, and so I wanted to keep I wanted to keep going with it. So here we are. Uh, I check on them usually every evening. Um, I haven't been out here in the last uh, two evenings, I guess. But as you can see, I mean, they're very well taken care of. There's uh, my bull Buster right there. And I got a couple fresh calves back here too. So I'm going to give them some feed here. And uh, yeah, just hang in, hang with me and check it out. It's their favorite day. Look at them pretty mamas. And this here's Buster. My dad raised this bull uh, from a calf, and he's my herd bull now, and he's, he's, an, he's an awesome, awesome guy. Current situation, we're going to uh, move some implements today, but the tractor won't start. We can't get in here to uh, jump it. So we're pulled out backward here, Jaren. Pop the hood. She's back alive. Oh, uh, hopefully, boy, as you can tell, uh, we got it really, really cleaned up and um, it's getting ready to, to go for the restore job. I'm gonna start restoring it here soon and I can't wait. My grandpa would be uh, ecstatic. 